The Batman is barely out in theaters worldwide, and people are already fancasting their dream follow-up. A sequel to The Batman hasn't officially been announced as of the making of this video. That said, the film teases more adventures from The Dark Knight and its rogues gallery of foes moving forward. Furthermore, producer Dylan Clark has a time frame in mind for the seemingly inevitable follow-up to Matt Reeves' gritty blockbuster, and Warner Brothers intends to give one of the movie's villains his very own spin-off series. All in all, it seems that the studio heads and filmmakers have high hopes for this iteration of the Batman franchise. Of course, even the slightest possibility of a sequel to the Batman is enough of a reason to get fans talking about the characters they'd like to see make an appearance down the line. Penguin, the Riddler, and the Joker have all had time in the spotlight in recent years, but the Batman vault boasts a wide array of memorable baddies, many of whom who have arguably been overlooked, undeserved, or flat-out ignored in the live-action movies. Gotham Caped Crusader has a long history with Mr. Freeze that's barely been explored in the films, and many fans would no doubt love to see a serious exploration of that conflict now that they've had time to recover from Arnold Schwarzenegger's ill-fated turn as the character in 1997's Batman and Robin. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! It remains to be seen if the Batman filmmakers include Mr. Freeze in a future project. Numerous Batman fans on social media have been calling for Mr. Freeze to appear in the sequel to Matt Reeves' film, causing the character to trend online in the process. Meanwhile, over on Instagram, artist Missouri has shown how the iconic villain could look if he were to be portrayed by English actor Mark Strong. The chilling illustration depicts Strong with icy white skin, sporting a pair of glasses that accentuate Freeze's red eyes. The character's trademark black suit is also on display, giving him an imposing and muscular appearance. The image is capped off with blue hues, which really enhance the freezing factor that fans expect to be associated with this particular villain. The picture is much scarier than Arnold Schwarzenegger's version of the character from Batman and Robin, and some of Missouri's followers support the idea of seeing strong casts as a formidable foe. One commenter wrote, Marcus Freeze would be awesome. I always thought he suited the role. Elsewhere, some followers revealed how they'd like to see Mr. Freeze used in the sequel. One user wrote, I really love how they portrayed his character in the Arkham games, and I really want to see that version in a live-action film. Mark Strong is no stranger to comic book movie roles, having previously starred in Matthew Vaughn's Kingsman The Secret Service and the sequel Kingsman The Golden Circle, as well as Kick-Ass. He's also no stranger to the DC Universe, having appeared in Green Lantern and Shazam. Back when the movie was in pre-production, he was also heavily rumored to be in the running for the role of Lex Luthor in Batman v Superman at Dawn of Justice, so it's understandable why superhero fans continue to dreamcast the Englishman as their favorite characters. But what are the possibilities of Strong gracing the sequel to the Batman? There is no record of Strong stating his interest in the role. Furthermore, he appears to be taking a break from DC flicks for now. The actor previously revealed that he will not be in Shazam! Fury of the Gods, but could he be deceiving us? Dr. Thaddeus Savannah's burgeoning alliance with Mr. Mind following the events of the first film suggests that he has unfinished business in this franchise after all. What in God's name? I named the gods, Doctor. Not the other way around. The filmmakers might opt to catch up with Strong's evil scientist and his quest to take over the Seven Realms down the line. That would give him a window to play Freeze, right? Additionally, the Batman isn't part of the same cinematic universe as Shazam. Theoretically, that would mean that Strong could play the Gotham City menace without having to worry about crossing paths with his Shazam antagonist. It's certainly an idea worth considering. The Iceman cometh! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.